School resource officers have been patrolling Guam's public high school campuses for almost a year now. But up until this point, the probation officers from the Guam Judiciary have been unarmed. Safe and Drug-Free Schools Project Manager Jolene Respicio of the Guam Judiciary says that the SROs are trained to be armed, but the Judiciary will leave the decision about whether or not to arm the officers at schools up to others. Of course the position would be that um, at, in their role as a law enforcement officer they would be armed. However, uh, our position of having them armed in the schools is completely um, left to the Guam Education Board and the Guam Legislature to make that decision as the Chief Justice has, has said. This issue was debated publicly prior to the SROs being posted at Guam's five public high schools last year. And while the debate ended with the officers being unarmed, recent events have caused the issue to be revisited. Speaker Judy Wanpat today hosted a roundtable discussion on the matter where she says testimony showed no sense of urgency in arming the officers. We're going to continue, of course, the, the dialogue uh, and with m more specific individuals now. Uh, you know, I know the board will be, at least among themselves, um, are not saying that this is something they, they want to do. The superintendent, I think, has also supported that idea. Department of Education Superintendent John Fernandez is currently off-island, but submitted written testimony on the matter, which Wampat says suggests that other factors should be taken into consideration before the topic of armed officers is visited. At least from what we've seen in the mainland with all of these cases is that it's, there's always a mental uh, issue here, mm -hmm. and should we then be looking at that before we start, you know, putting... Um, you know, uh, these machines uh, in the school, scanners and, you know, and batons and, and whatever it is. Uh, they're just saying that uh, we, we need to, to look at other issues first before we actually talk about arming uh, our SROs. Some of the public debate has included criticism on the training that SROs receive as probation officers. But Respicio says that the SROs do receive specified training in firearms and in working in an educational setting. We, again, are members of the National Association of School Resource Officers, and we work with their um, triad concept as well as uh, their foundation, foundational training. And their training basically includes how to do, how to be a law enforcement officer in the school setting. And so uh, they are trained in that way. That is additional specialty training. Um, but on top of that, they do have um, regular law enforcement training and they're trained in, in many different areas. The SRO program is funded by a federal grant to provide bullying prevention programming and to reduce violence on school campuses. Betsy Brown, PNC News.